Similar to the O discussion, this notation gives the tighter lower bound of the given algorithm, and we represent it by f of n omega g of n. So omega notation is giving the lower bound and the O notation giving the upper bound of an algorithm or a function. That means at larger values of n, the tighter lower bound of g of f and f of n is g of n. For example, if we consider f of n equal 100 n square plus 10 n plus 50. If we need to consider the O of n, O of n for this function is the highest, the highest value is n squared. And the omega notation of this is O of n squared. And it is of O n squared. Okay, omega n squared because it is the tighter lower bound. So the omega notation can be defined as omega notation of g of n equal to f of n. There exists positive constant c and n, n zero uh, for the function where zero between and the function of g of n between zero and f of n. So there zero equal less than or equal g of n times c less than f of n okay our objective is to give the largest rate of growth of g of n which is less than or equal to the given algorithm rate of growth for example if we have here a lower give a lower bound of uh, like f of n square Okay, give lower bound of f of n equal to 5n square. Okay, the upper bound here is n square. Okay, the lower bound, there exists c n square and n zero such that zero less than or equal c times n square less than five n square so there exists n zero and c such that c times n square less than five n square less than f of n this is the function that we and this is the formula that we are working to find the lower bound okay c n square less than 5 n square so c equal to 5 and n 0 equal to 1 so the theta notated sorry the omega notation of this function is n square it is the same uh, for some examples it is the same as the uh, the o notation but it's very simple we can uh, consider this as a function and we are going to work with uh, in many ways theta notation this notation decides whether the upper and lower bounds of a given function or algorithm are the same so the average running time of an algorithm is always between the lower bound and the upper bound if the upper bound o notation and the lower bound is omega n notation give the same result then the theta notation will also have the same rate of growth okay so the rates of growth is the in the best case and the worst case are the same like f of n equal 10 n plus n as a result the average case will also be the same for a given algorithm or function if the rates of growth or the bounds for o and omega are not the same then the rate of growth of the theta notation uh, will not be the same 
In this case, we need to consider all possible time complexities and take the average of those. So the average time is the theta notation. So if the upper and the lower bound are the same, so average and the theta notation would be the same. If lower and upper bound are not the same, we took the average time of all algorithm between them and consider them as a theta notation. For example of this, we need to, to get f of n, f of n equal to n square over 2 minus n over 2. Find the theta bound for the f of n. If we have here this function, we have two terms, the first one and the second one. We have n square over 2 and minus n over 2. So this function is between less than or equal the n square and it is about greater than or equal to n square over 5. So for all n greater than 2, whatever n greater than 2. So n square over 5 less than or equal n square over 2 minus n over 2 less than or equal to n square. In this case, the average notation uh, is theta. Okay, so theta notation is theta of n of square and power 2. Okay? This is the theta notation. This is the average time between the upper bound and the lower bound. And it's calculated according to the average algorithms time taken.